Hey guys, so welcome back to another episode of Music Video Edit. This music video is by Megas uh, Fire Emoji. This is the fifth episode of uh, this music video. So today we're just going to do like a roundabout of what we've done from episode one, episode two, episode three to episode four. Then I'm going to show you how I color grade, how I color correct, how I export my my work, and just you know just having a nice discussion with you guys. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and yeah, let's start editing. So I'm just going to play it from starting to the end so you can see uh, the cut, what we've done from uh, the episode one, cutting the footage to now. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange, yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test yeah. Expect nothing less, your check is on chest, what's happening next, yeah He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me like sheep, move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they ski Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't wanna place I wanna be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job No 9-5, no mean boss, just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive So that's basically what we've done so for this so that's basically what we've done for this clip okay let me just push it back a little bit okay so i actually made this effect in adobe premiere uh, i'm going to show you how i made that uh the gun effect because i mean so the, the reason why i actually did that in adobe premiere was that it's kind of uh it's it's a bit easy <laughs> to to create this effect in adobe premiere because uh most of those things that i want they I, I normally use i just know it from using adobe premiere so i'm going to show you how i did that in adobe premiere okay okay so what we're going to do now this is the clip and this is the original clip so i exported this i exported this clip and then i took it to adobe premiere and then i took it back after after doing all those effects um, after doing all these effects then i took it back to the virtual result so what I'm trying to say is that <laughs> I exported this clip as MOV after degrading, uh, I left degrading and then I put, took it to Adobe Premiere. So here is it in Adobe Premiere. Okay. So like I said, uh, I kind of prefer, you know, doing this effect in Adobe Premiere because I, I've... <laughs> I practically used Adobe for longest time that I've used the DaVinci Resolve. 
So I kind of know Adobe Premiere in and out. So and, and it's quick for me to 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 edit, uh, do this simple effects. All right. So I'm just going to mute everything I did. So you can actually see the uh, the original um, one. You see, this is it. Okay. So without the the whole mother flash. So we're just going to create this this again from the scratch. So we're just going to create it from the starting. So how we do that? We just let's create a new sequence. And name it 24 frames. It's 24 frames that we were using to you know to edit in DaVinci Resolve. So we have to keep keep that to in Adobe Premiere. And on this part, you can just name it um, um, uh, rework. Sorry, rework, rework, and then so, okay. So because it's already here, we can we can find it in our project file. You right click, and then you go, you go to review in in project. Okay. So, but I think I, I can also copy Control Command C or Control C in Windows. Mark is Command C. You can Control C and then go to the sequence you open and then Control V. Just to paste. So let's open it. So this is it. So if you notice now that uh, you see it's kind of bigger than than. Uh, 1080 um, um, frame so what you can easily do is to right click on this and then you can either go set to frame size or scale to frame size sometimes I just prefer scale to frame size and okay so what you see so the next thing we're going to do now is to bring in the muzzle flash and the, because we've done it here so we're just going to take from here um, you can also drag instead of copy and paste you can also drag to the timeline okay so at the moment let's see okay so you see there's kind of an issue that it doesn't like really follow the gun so what you can do is um okay so from here you need to try make sure it you know follows the gun but uh, sometimes when you bring in your muzzle flash you can maybe sometimes say it's very big so most of the time they say you know you have to you know make sure that the muzzle flash is the same size as the gun okay so now what we do you go to effect as you can see the it it has the previous setting so we just need to like i said we're doing it from the starting so i can show you you know how we how i actually did that in the music video i'm just going to delete this delete 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 and remove position remove okay now we just need to scale it a little bit so it's almost the same as the gun and then once we're done and then we can position it where we want the muzzle flash to start from maybe somewhere here is also is good okay and then so you see we need to keyframe it and so guys there's a lot of um tutorials on youtube that can teach you how to keyframe but it's very simple okay so we need to go step by step each frame to manually adjust it sometimes you can track it in in after effect but just because i'm using adobe premiere i just like to do it manually so it's it, you know i get to see it so i'm just gonna go frame to frame 
you can tell when I shift on this frame, it's, it actually moves, the gun moves. So we have to like maybe drag it back to the position. And you, you notice as we're dragging back, you see this creating another, another frame. Okay, so the more we, we drag it back, the more it creates fr frame. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the, if you notice, because it's automatic, like it's automatic um, fire muzzle flash, so it, it so it goes repeatedly. So that's why you know it's like brings the smoke and then it starts again. Okay, so let's go to the next frame. Boom, boom. Okay, you see this is not right, so we just move it a little bit. Okay. Now we we'll move it. Play, play, play. You move it again, just to the edge, and you move again, again, okay, so you just do it like that, just making sure it's on the edge of the gun, okay, okay, all right, so... We're going to do the same thing to this one because we copied from the initial one. So we're just going to like remove this, this other part. Remove it. Remove. 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 So the other thing we can actually do is to maybe just delete this and then hold option on Mac or alternate on Windows. You hold it down. And then you, oh sorry. So you hold it down and then you drag it out. So it creates a double. Okay. Now we, we still need to remove the frame that was on the first one because it's not, it's not going to be the same one on the on this on this part because if you play it now, you see it's kind of far. So we need to remove the the keyframe again scale okay okay let's hold this and then we need to click on this frame on this position so it create a keyframe and the scale too so that whatever we're doing it creates a new keyframe so let's move this again. So you click on this motion, just drag it back so it gets to the tip of this gun. Go to the second, go to the second frame. Boom, boom, boom. Just drag it like this. And then. Then drag it, drag it. Just making sure it's on the tip. All right. So now we're done. So let's play it again. Okay. So there's something. See, this last there's this last one that kind of misfire. Yeah, there's one. Oh, you see? There's one we did not do. So let's go to let's position it. Let's play it again. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, so it's the first one. So is this the the second one we took? We just need to position this again to the starting. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. 
Now, you see, it's all very good. It's all very nice. But what we want to do now is to sometimes I actually like to double this whole thing. So I'm just going to double it now. Let's see. Okay. okay so you can it depends on you but let me just remove it so the next thing we need to do now you see when you're actually firing a gun um, you because it's it's there's there's light on this part your gun should be you know like there should be like an element of lights on the on the on your hand or the gun on sometimes on your face so we're going to do that so okay so we're just going to cut like little frame it doesn't have to be like accurate accurate that it goes all right so we just delete 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 so what we're going to do now with this so just draw like um just any any um shape on the hand let's see then we still need to draw on the on the on the gun too because that's what you know we want to do all right so now we've done that so what so what we're going to do now is to highlight some um, color dodge so once we do that so the the next thing we're going to do is to reduce the uh opacity reduce the opacity and then we're going to do a feather we're going to feather it. We're going to feather on this part. Reduce the opacity and then feather. We're going to do it on all the masks that we did. And then reduce it a little bit. So once we play now, you see what's going to happen. Just increase it a little bit. Okay, maybe two frames. That's okay. Two frames and then okay. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing we did on the first one. So we do mask. Then we do another mask next to the hand. Next to the hand. And then maybe one more next to the side okay and then we change it to color dodge and then we feather a little bit uh, just feather a little bit sorry that my mouse feather a little bit and then the opacity drop it down a little 
just yeah it's me and then further more okay then we do the same thing on on all the masks that we created further press it to drop and then we further okay so we just do the same thing so you can do the same thing on everything mask boom 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 okay so i'm creating three masks now okay create another one just by the hand this way it's much simple for me to do when i want to do something like this gun effect feather a little bit and the opacity and then the same thing okay so i'll just do it on this this one and this one then you can just see what i'm trying to do here all right so this this last this this one we're going to do the same thing mask on the hand another mask on the body of the gun okay then another mask on the hand so you can draw your mask however you want sometimes you know you can even put the mask on the wall or on the shirt depending on the scene if you are if if this was to be like in a room then you are would actually <laughs> advise you to you know to to put the the you know if you're creating something like this put it on the wall the mask okay so we're just going to add it to look for color dot and further further about 50 and then opacity there that's good same thing on all the feather okay opacity 80 okay so let's play it now so we can see the effect of this okay so you see how you see how you see how it comes okay it follows the muzzle flash so just just give it some nice you know real kind of gun <laughs> gun shooting okay so i'm not going to do all the rest because i've done it so the but this is how i created the, the effect but you see I actually double this so let me unmute the initial one so this is it okay So I'll also show you how I did this effect. So I'm going to show you, you see that, let me show you, you see this effect, I did that in Adobe Premiere. So I'll also show you how I made that.
I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually excited the way it came out. So um, just to sh I want to show you a few things um, from the last uh, two, from the last episode, what I did. So let me show you guys how um, I edit to the beat. Okay, so if you check, so if you check this part, the way it sounds, it's, it's, it's very nice because uh, you know, so you almost like, you almost want to be editing to beat in music video. Now, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so check this part. I mean, you can, you know, you can tell that. So that's basically what that is about. So what we're going to do now, let me also show you. Now, oh yeah, somebody actually asked me how I create my, when I'm opening the the, the, the DaVinci Resolve, how I start my project because I did not put that. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how I actually open my project and when I'm actually editing. Um, don't, don't mind this, don't mind this. So um, what I would do, so you just, you just create a new project, you name it for just for the sake of this, um, just for the sake of just, you know, just showing you, so I'm just, so just going to create a new project. I just say new project. New project and then create. So once it's done, you, you're going to get this blank page where most, sometimes you find it like this. Most of you, maybe you find it like this. So now if you've used uh, Adobe Premiere, you, you now coming to DaVinci Resolve, you're going to find it that sometimes it's a bit too much when you, when, when, when you find it like this. It's relaxed, guys. It's, it's almost the same. Like, you just need to go to the edit page because DaVinci Resolve has everything into one. It, unlike um, where Adobe Resolve, uh, Adobe has Adobe Premiere for just cutting and doing, you know, little effect, and then you have Adobe uh, After Effect for for fully effect. Then you have Adobe Audition. Just you know, but in DaVinci Resolve, you you in DaVinci Resolve the Studio, you you have everything in one so you have the the media page where you can sort out check the the footage that uh you you want to work on once you sort that out then you go to cut page and this is the cut page selecting the photos that you want to edit and then you go to the edit page now this edit page is almost the same like the uh, like the adobe results yeah it's almost the same as the adobe and then there's the effects like uh, Adobe After Effects, there's a Fusion side. And then boom, there's have a dedicated uh, thing for, for colors too in, in the Vichy Resolve. And then the Fairlight, you see on this part, it's for audio. So do you, you, you can mix and, and do your audio effect in this, in this Fairlight side. So this part is delivery. So you see the, how this is a delivery page where you can choose whichever format you want to export to you know there are different formats here which you can and then you, you create your settings once you're done you click on this uh add to render queue it goes to this plate and then you you render all so I'm, I'm going to show you all that at the end of this video so since i'm going to be showing you how i actually export my videos so let's go back to so i'm just going to go back to the the music video we're working on okay so once we're done with that then so what i've done also what i've done uh i've taken time to actually do color correct color grade and so what we're going to do now since we have our cut now everything is neat and nice that's what we want to use and then the next thing we need to do now is to actually color grade to color correct and color grade this the sequence okay now 
so i'm going to go remember we, we go to if you want to do colors there's a color uh, page that we go to you will just click on it and then it comes to this part now don't be intimidated when you see this when you see you know the the the, the layout like this I promise you, it's not, yeah, I get it. If you, if you don't know anything about the uh, DaVinci Resolve, it could be very overwhelming just seeing this page and then you, you, you say you, you, you're working and then it's a node, node, uh, layout. So for me, when I, how it was actually much easy for me to understand DaVinci Resolve, because every time I open DaVinci Resolve, because every People on YouTube, everybody keeps saying no, no, almost, you know, it makes you feel like this is such a big thing that you can learn, you can, but the thing is, it's not that different from Adobe, Adobe <laughs> Premiere, because when you mean node, so what they mean, it's almost, it's, it's, it's the same, it's almost like they're telling you, um no this layer so adobe premiere is layer so you put layer 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 but on this part you can actually if you're used to adobe you can do this it's very simple control i just did uh option s or uh, in windows you can do alternate s to bring another node now bringing another node here it's almost like you adding a layer in adobe Premiere. So just get that. You, the more you add your node, the more you add layer. So if you coming from Adobe, how you can learn much easy is you just stack a node like this. <laughs> then it's it's when you have it like this, it's almost like you have you know you are in Premiere. So node this goes to this, this goes to so you know that whatever you put in here affects this whatever you put this in affect this too this part this done part cannot override this part so that is all this all four affects this affects this affects this so that's basically what a node for just for you to quickly understand what how node process work so i'm just going to control z Okay, so we're going to look for one of the clip I did. Just trying to get some clip that is okay. So okay. So let's use this for example. Now, if I turn off to turn off any. Uh, color that you've done you just press this sign the color goes off okay but sometimes you can also do just press this this color so this is but this bypass any color and fusion effect that you currently have on your on your on your footage okay okay so because I shot with my Blackmagic uh, uh, Osa Mini Pro 12K, so you, you're going to find that this is, this is B-Raw. So B-Raw, it's, um, it's a raw format that, you can, that doesn't have uh, the full colors in it. It's, it. It allows you to actually have make changes on your, on your editing, um, on, on your editing, uh, uh, software so what I did I it was it was like this I mean okay so this is how the, the footage came in from the camera okay so I I did I went to the clip and I changed obviously it the the, the camera was shooting is gen 5 color uh, the color size then as short black magic design then as uh, I saw, I was shooting on 12. So the other good part about shooting on B-Raw is that you can actually change the the ISO. In imagine you you see maybe it's too dark now, you can change it to this 640, or even go as far as 
changing it to three twenty. <laughs> no, but that's not what we want. I think it's sorry. I just it's just an example. Uh, I think let's stick with two hundred. And there's so many adjustments you can do on this part. On like really, there's so many adjustments you can you can do. Okay. So once you once I have this, I also highlight highlight recovery, and then once then I would. Okay. So from here, so this is I use this a uh, lot. This uh, Rec seven oh nine to four G film five D. So I. Kind of like this lot, but I know it's too harsh now, so we're just going to reduce it. So we just need to double click on it. So now, before and after, before and after. So what we need to do now is I just need to like just reduce it a little bit. You go to this key output, and then you can you see if you take it down, it reduces. So just a little bit. So this is. Okay, so if you take it down, it reduces. And this is how it was before. If you take it more than one, it's, it increases. So I'm just going to make it like around about 70. Okay, so now once you have that, this is before and after. So for this footage, there's really no much still we, we can do here. But however, um, what we also need to do here is to add a little bit of, for me, I just really like to add uh, the noise. So you, it, how I normally like to do is, is I, this frame three fastest, I think it's, I just leave it like this. And then boom, I just increase this part to about five, four, it's okay, sometimes I use five. And then put this for five, five point seven, four point. So this is as far you don't at least for me my op op opinion as far I don't exceed at least seven, I'm fine. So that we can say okay. So this is before, and then this is after. So that's what we have here. Yeah, same thing. That's what we have. Okay. So now let's go on to let me show you something else I did. Okay. So I'm going to show you this effect, how I did it. You see? So this is almost like a zoom effect. Okay. So this is basically the whole music video. Uh, once you have that, the next thing you can do now is to export. So obviously, after you need to show the artist that see, hey, <laughs> I have uh, I've done the music video. And what's next is maybe just having the artists check it out, check the reviews out. Just check the video out before you maybe do the final take. So how I would normally deliver uh, the video is go to this. See this part, this deliver. And then I go to 4H26. And then I name it. I put the name. Uh, the name is Megas. Fire emoji. emoji and then i go to this part this browse to choose the folder that i want the, the music video to go into then i just say yeah megas here yeah. boom so now so so then i go to this this is this is already pre-made it's fine quick time h that's that's awesome now the part that i want you guys to take note is 9020 to 1080 now this is the output resolution that is going to 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 bring the the music video out. 
Now, if you shot the music video on, on 8K, 12K, 4K, and then you edit on on the timeline of 1080, maybe maybe some reasons, a few reasons that I would think that you would edit on 1080 uh, resolution. For me, I was I normally edit on 1080 resolution because when I edit, it's much easier for my computer to work on on the timeline of on um, of 10 and 1920 to 1080. So now, but when I'm exporting it. I have to change it back to the format that I was shot. So if you so if you maybe shot the mood, shot the music video on 4K, you can use this Ultra HD as 4K and that's 8K. Okay, that's uh, maybe if you're using. I understand. Uh, I'm not quite sure. You can please correct me. At the time of making this video, uh, there's two DaVinci Resolve. There's one for studio and then there's. Uh, just the normal DaVinci Resolve, the free DaVinci Resolve. I don't think you're able to export 8K on that. I think you're able to export 8K on 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 DaVinci Resolve Studio. So you can click on this part. Now I'm going to export on 8K, uh, 4K, Ultra HD, and the frame the frame rate that you shot the music video. Obviously, I'm editing on 24 frames. That's what I'm just going to leave it. And then boom, quality, automatic, encoding. That's I just leave this part like that. You don't need to mess up with those all the settings. And boom, you add to render. It's gonna tell you high resolution. Uh, it's gonna it's now so it's gonna prompt you to say uh, add higher resolution render now because remember you were editing on the lower resolution. So now when you're exporting, it's gonna give you an alert or something just to remind you that. You know this is not what you were editing the timeline but for me it's fine so you just need to go to add and then boom you, when you when you click on render it's going to automatically render it for example I click on render now it's in progress okay I'm just I'm just gonna stop it so that's how it would render your project okay I want to take you through to the behind the scene of fire emoji uh, by Megas I just want to tell you guys obviously have a nice discussion with the camera with the with the concept with the reasons i actually you know shot this way and the location the actors the act um, who and the models the you know everybody who was on set so i just want to have a nice discussion with you and with the with the music video obviously so um shooting this music video was actually very interesting because um hearing when the artist sent me the song i actually heard it and i was really excited but First thing that came to my mind was uh, just listening to the song. It's just having this person rescue this girl. And that's just all that just kept going in my head. I just wanted to shoot something that that have, yes, uh, the song is a dance song. But also I just wanted to have a feel of a dramatic element in the, in the music video. So yeah, we ended up working out a concept that allows the artist to actually rescued the lady and yeah so i wrote the treatment i sent it to the artist the artist was fine with it and and, and then the the next thing for me was looking for the location and and also just putting together the logistics for the music video the main location we actually used for this music video uh brian got it for me he's awesome brian and grant they were on set that day Brian was actually showing them, showing the artist how to hold a gun, how to handle a gun with Grant too. So those shout out to Grant, shout out to Brian. So what? Um, so the first when I actually went to the location Brian suggested, I really really loved it because I could see different hideout that I would want to use in the music video. So for me, it's just awesome. So I took photos. I took. Um, videos too just to you know just to have a feel of the location first because uh, I always go to the location before I actually try to watch it because uh, for me from the past um, in the past I would just go on set and without going to without checking out the location and sometimes it it ends up not working out properly 
because when I get on set, it's either there's something not there, one thing is something is missing, there's no electricity, con you know, just something that is just mm, just something. So it's just better for you to go to the, the location before you the actual date of your shoot. So yeah, I went there. I was happy with what I saw. And then, yeah, so we, we fixed the date to go and shoot at the location. The concept was having Megas actually rescue the lead lady and just working out does the logistics was a bit hectic because obviously watch, uh, putting together each scene, not forgetting that this is still a music video because we have to have a, a scene where the artist is also singing. But however, we still need to bring that dramatic element inside the the music video so yeah we we chose a few scenes where the artist will be singing but also having the artist also do uh rescue the girl and all that uh this is brian who is teaching them teaching the artist and the actors how to handle a gun how to move around with a gun so shout out to grant shout out to brian so these are the two guys who are just <laughs> assisting, you know, the artists and the, the the actors, you know, showing them how to handle a gun, how to move around, you know, with a gun. Do you see the vest he's actually wearing on the on the chest? So I wanted to find out if he, if there's it would be any way he could actually wear the vest inside the shirt, so I don't ha have to see this. Like just see it because I felt it was just too out. So maybe if there was anything we could do just to have the vest inside of his shirt, just hide it or something. But uh, yeah, I was told like you know it's not possible because that's how. You wear the vest and all that, but yeah, it still came out well. But so I don't know, like no, not yes, apart from suit. No, in terms yes. of this, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You wear it like this on top. Yeah. All right. You do wear it on that jacket, lady. And that suit, lady. You all can right. wear it over everything, but with something like this. So on this part, they are not. They are probably going to remove this because we're wearing the shirt and even the jacket will be up on this side. Yes. What I was trying to say in the scene was that, I mean, so we have a scene where, you know, he got caught and obviously, so when he got caught and he, he he's going to be tied up. So 
um, that that scene would not have this the 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 bullet proof thing. He would have taken that out because it was caught, and then that's how he you know he got freed, and then he went to rescue the lady. So um, yeah, so I was just trying to find out if because I don't want him to wear that that vest in that scene or where you know he's beating he's you know he's sad he's singing so yeah oh we had uh, a makeup artist her name is chichi she was i mean she's she's really good i've worked with her in previous uh, uh gig so i actually invited her to come and be the makeup artist for this music video and she just wanted to understand uh what uh, what i required and so I actually briefed her about what I need that the artist needs to to look good. Just um, a makeup, not not too heavy makeup. The main thing I'm going to want is when the artist is caught, there's going to be like a wound, like a blood kind of vibe on his face, on the chest. That's, and she she really understood that, and she gave me what I really wanted. So she's, she, she's, I mean, she's really good. I'm going to leave a link to her work, to her Instagram. So if you want a makeup artist, you can actually contact her. And then the model too, the model was very, I mean, she, she was very professional because uh, we had a brief earlier before the, the shoot date. And then, yeah, I told her what I, what I required, the outfit and all that, that is, you know, that she's, she, she, if she would be okay with, you know, the concept of a music video because sometimes you have to just you know like be straightforward to people in terms of the concept because they need to know what they're getting themselves into so I, I explained to her i told her what the movie what the concept was all about and she she was really cool with it you know so she came on that day she's she you know she did her makeup she was very professional and so i also leave a link to her page where you can find her if you want to call her. Yeah, please do. So the camera I was using that day, I was using the Alsa Mini Pro 12K and the lenses I was using, I was using the Iris 45 millimeter and the 15. And then I was using the Gimbal Xeon Crane 3 S Pro. And yeah, so for outside, I was using the natural light and yeah, it was, I mean, it was pretty fine. But the inside I was, uh, I used the Amaron 200D and then the backlight, I was using um, um, a stage light for the backlight just to light up the back. So this scene was him arriving at the location where the girlfriend is currently being held. And this was just him getting out of the car and then showing the gun, showing where he was, you know, he, he had the gun. So opening the boots and then taking the gun out. So, and then walking inside, you know, the building. So, and then we have another scene where the the artist, the first person the artist saw was actually inside smoking inside the, the building. So we, we, we just had, you know, a situation where we just need the artist, you know, to, to you know, to strangle the, the first person and maybe shoot at whoever was there. But we, it was during the editing, I just found out that I mean, the, the it would be much easy to actually have the artist just put his hand and just strangle, strangle the first person, and then make his way inside the building. Now move, move, go, and cut. So the next scene, the artist is going to get caught. I mean, the artist cannot just be shooting at everybody and not just get caught. So we needed the artist to get caught. And how uh, we did that was that there was a there was a place um, where you know 
it's, it's a bit wide so the artist just went in there and then everybody just came out like pointing their gun at him because i mean we actually had the artist come with his friends so they actually acted as actors too in the music video so that was really really cool so they pointed the gun at that at the artist why you know he was he was actually kneeling down and then uh why he was kneeling down we the artist was also singing to the to, to the girlfriend they actually you know brought the girlfriend out and the artist was singing to the girlfriend so that was also a performance scene for the artist and, i mean having him sing to the girl that was also cool and yeah it was really nice but however before the before he fin he could finish singing we i had to do so you know um one of the guys the actors could actually hit hit him and then the artist falls down he passes out apart from that i also wanted to to shoot like a pov of the actor uh just getting caught and then showing the friends one by one as they point the gun at him it's just a point of view of the artist just you know uh shooting from the camera so yeah so the next scene we we have is the artist getting tied up and you know singing to this also a performance scene where the artist we the setting is actually very nice because we i was using the amaron 200d to light his face like a key light then i had like a party light behind him just lighting the back of his head so it was really cool But how that scene ended was having the artist, you know, pull like pulls himself out of the where he was tied, and then you know, like there was one guard who was guarding him, but the guard was fought, fell asleep, so he used this thing he was holding to actually hit the guard, and that was how he got free. He took the guard's gun, and then he made his way looking for the girlfriend. So I think that was pretty cool. Um, also, the scene was also the performance scene where the artist actually is actually singing a song. Not forgetting that this is a music video, we still have to keep that in note that the artist has to sing, even though you know we were putting some dramatic element in the in the music video. There's a part where you know he needed to shoot and shooting like that because I know when um, when I'm editing, I was going to put like. In an effect of the, the muzzle flash on the gun on the on the on the head of the gun so it shows like this he's actually firing but obviously he was just shooting like that just making sure on set he was just pretending like he was shooting so that was pretty cool so but during the editing I had to put a muzzle flash on the on the gun driving so we had a driving scene where at the starting so how i did that was have put in the gopro so we had a gopro on on the in the car um the, in the artist's car while he's singing and driving and then then we 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 did another shot of the artist actually uh driving with a camera on another car videoing the artist driving the, so because we only had two gopro so we put the camera on the car the front car and then we put the camera on the back car so when the artist uh is behind the the car that is driving forward you can see and then when the artist drives past the the car then you can also see the car the artist car driving past the next thing we did was having the the artist this uh go out with the with the girlfriend so we add that as uh, a bureau to when he was remembering the the things the 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 girlfriend and him used to do so uh, we shot at the club and i shot on slow-mo so it was cool too so but however i actually used um 
uh, Amara 200 did to actually still light the like a key light because they were I didn't want too much light because they were already light in the background. So guys, we we'll come to the end of this music video edit by Megas. This is the last episode. I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate that you guys stayed all this time from episode one to episode fifth now. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Uh, that will encourage me to keep making this type of videos and yeah leave a comment tell me what type of videos you want to see let's have a discussion in the comment section and yeah enjoy your day guys and i'll see my other videos